Hi everyone, and welcome to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this episode, we're gonna go through the 10 main reasons why cassettes, tape, has come back and why it should remain. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, yes, I know I've said these things among different videos of mine, but I wanted to put them together and create a firm and strong message for newbies, for people who are just surfing around the web on YouTube to know, to know a little bit more. It's important to send this message out as much as we can. Okay, let's dive in immediately. Point number one. Why? Have cassettes come back and why they should stay well mainly i would say point number one is for the novelty a lot of people just as happened for vinyl records are discovering obviously new young people are described discovering this type of medium and they they see something physical they see something they interact with and it's something new if you think about it Yes, there was CDs and now there's the also the vinyl resurgence, but as we will see, cassettes do have some extra features which really set them aside from the rest. Last but not least, the possibility to record also. But we'll get to that. Let's proceed. Point number two, nostalgia. Yes, obviously, a lot of people like me, or even uh, elder people love this type of medium, love this concept, love the feeling, the smell, I would say also, of cassettes. So, hence, that is why we have also a large portion of the public, of the audience, of people who are using them or buying them or making them because they are nostalgic. That's undeniable. That's it. Let's proceed. Point number three. Well, obviously, Cassettes are vintage, so they are trendy. That is also a fundamental point. Hipsters or just people are following the, the, the groove, are following the different trends around. You just sense that cassettes are something cool to listen, to have, and to, to make. Absolutely. Let's proceed. Point number four, collectability. Hmm. Yes, a lot of people buy cassettes and they don't even have a player, a recorder, something at home. Simply because one of their favorite artists are making them, they're gonna buy them. And a lot of people do that actually. The same for vinyl. So that's also bringing up the sales, which I do wanna say are increasing, doubling themselves year by year. Obviously we're not talking about the sales of the 80s and the 90s in millions and millions. But for example, if you look around, since UK is monitoring this and the RIA in the US not. For example, in 2020, there was almost 200,000 sales of cassettes, which is a lot considering it's a physical media and it does have a cost, especially when major label releases them. Let's proceed. Point number five, which I called availability. What do I mean? Well, very simply, a lot of as I was saying, labels, uh, music producers, artists themselves want you to have their vinyl version, but also their cassette version. In fact, one of the top sales comes from who? Lady Gaga, who uh, her last album was released also on cassette, as well as Dua Lipa, as well as Lana Del Rey and many others, but not only. I mean, we're not talking about mainstream, actually. This is, I would say, uh, mainly an underground. Cassette culture is an underground trend, almost a form of art, you could say, or a lifestyle, which that makes it also very cool. In any case, that, I mean that for availability, but also because cassettes are back in production. Now it's been already a few years, two or three years actually, where we have a series of manufacturers around the world 
which are making a lot of cassettes. Actually, it never ceased. There was always a small, teeny production, but now even major houses, major companies, like Recording the Masters or the National Company in the US, or also uh, others in Japan and North Korea, uh, etc., are South Korea actually, are making a lot of tapes. Thank God. Unfortunately, only type one. If you don't know what that means, take a look at this video I made where I describe a, li a little bit about the different types of cassettes, which change dramatically in terms of sound quality, okay? One all the way to four, which we could say more or less increase in quality. Let's proceed. Point number six, cheap. Cassettes are cheap. If you want, you can buy a virgin cassette for just a few bucks just a few euro, which is positive. Now, major releases of pre-recorded cassettes, since they are collectible, do have a high cost. If compared to a vinyl release or to a CD, we're very close, unfortunately. But instead, if you go on Bandcamp and you start looking around or minor, uh, minor shops online where you have minor productions, indie productions, they don't cost that much. The sound is not going to be amazing, but we're, in most cases, we're not after that in terms of cassette culture. We're not after hi-fi. That's another branch. Actually, this is more of a lo-fi current trend, I would say, which is a characteristic also of the sonic imprint of this type of productions, which is also interesting, I think. So in this terms, in the, it, cassettes are cheap, actually. Let's proceed. Point number seven, we already said this, tangible. It's a tangible medium. You can hold your cassette. You can play it in a recorder, in a player, something, again, a physical piece, physical piece of gear, which I know you, a smartphone is also a piece of gear, but it's not the same thing. You click a button, you, you really have a physical, tactile sense of that medium of the music. The music is physically on that medium. Can't say anything like that except for vinyl. Let's proceed. Point number eight, the most important, sound. As I said before, yes, we have that lo-fi trend, but if we want, we can have extremely high-fi, high fidelity. I did a video, here's a link, check that, how to make your cassettes with DSD files, MQA, high resolution PCM. You can have top notch quality using a good quality deck, a good quality cassette, a good quality source. Wow, things are unbelievable. If you don't try it, you would not believe it. Even if you get a digital source and you put it on cassettes, the sound will be better because of distortion. I also did, here's a link, a recent video on analog distortion, which explains why ah, the taste, I would say, of analog media is incredible, especially tape. T check it out. Let's proceed. Point number nine, indie. It's independent. The production of cassettes, there's a whole bunch of productions which are indie, are independent for the major labels. And I find this very fascinating. Cassettes also were protagonists in this sense in the past decades, and this is coming back. Thanks to the, the online stores, thanks, thanks to places like Bandcamp, a lot of artists, a lot of musicians are creating, even people who are taking their first steps in this, we could say, environment, in this reality, is able, capable of doing their first productions, their first albums, thanks to this medium, giving it that special vintage touch, which Digital files ain't gonna do, no way. Let's proceed. Our last point, creativity. Yes, I think this is a fundamental point because if, I don't know if you noticed, but a large portion of these productions, indie productions, are mainly electronic. And I love this combination of very futuristic, very high-tech music, electronic music, transposed, and also enjoyed through an analog medium. Fantastic. 
And a lot of people, a lot of musicians, artists are doing this because tape gives that special sound. It also gives them the possibility, with their different tracks, with overdubbing, with all different kinds of sorts of uh, creative, creative possibilities to make new sounds, to actually physically, like an artisan, maybe, mainly we could say, almost we could say, create their sound in their workshop with their different instruments, electronic instruments, even with their computer. So high-tech transports in an old, and we could say obsolete, absolutely medium, but delivers an amazing new result, which a lot of people, a lot of young people are discovering and enjoying, and this is fantastic. Okay, guys, so what is the big downside, I would say, in all this uh, incredible scenario? The downside is that we are missing recorders, players, pieces of gear to reproduce cassettes with some quality. I mean, if you go on Amazon, if you go on online stores, there are dozens of little cheap, crappy things that really do not give any justice to tape. I mean, the frequency response of these stupid little things is so low that, I don't know, maybe a a sound card or something would be better. So really, try to reach out. Mainly, I suggest for vintage gear. If you check on eBay and things like that, places like that, Hi-Fi Shark, you're gonna find portable or even mainly, I would say, fixed decks. I go for the 80s, the decks of mid-late 80s, possibly three heads, but also two heads are good, with 100, 150, 200 bucks, 150 euro, you're gonna bring home an excellent piece of equipment and you're really gonna enjoy cassettes and understand the quality. Obviously, if you go higher with a Pro Deck, high quality and Nakamichi or Revox, things like that, you're gonna reach the nirvana of sound. But let go gradually. You don't wanna spend too much money, you're not sure about this, obviously, no problem, it's reasonable, but do start and try. Because if you stop at what's on an eBay, on an Amazon, you're not gonna go ahead. Instead, with a decent quality vintage piece of gear, I assure you, and obviously a good quality cassette, even the one, the Fox on Recording the Masters, Type 1 cassette is absolutely decent. And at that point, you're really gonna start enjoying tape. And you can also do your own recordings, your voice or your music. Fantastic, guys. Okay, guys, leave your comments here below. I'm interested in what else Cassettes is thrilling you, and after all of this, remember, music was born analog. Bye! Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.